Good morning. So today's lesson is going to be for MTI Day 7. Um, we are working with distinguishing plurals, possessives, and contractions. So some plural nouns and possessive nouns sound alike, but their spellings and meanings differ. The farmers ha in harvested the corn. So this is just talking about many farmers, which makes it plural. The farmers' harvest harvests were plentiful. So this is going to be a plural possessive. It's actually talking about many farmers owning. So many own the harvest. So it's farmers' harvests. It's their harvests. And then it says the farmers' harvest is finished. Now this one is only talking about one farmer. See, see the difference where we have the apostrophe? So this one is one farmer owns the harvest. So a contraction then is a word made by combining two words into one by leaving out one or more letters and adding an apostrophe. So this is nothing new. We see Katrina's homework is perfect. So this is possessive because it's showing that she owns it. So this is going to be your possessive proper noun. But then we say Katrina's preparing for the test. That's a contraction of Katrina is, and we have to pay attention to those. Okay, so let's look at exercise one. Exercise one says that for us to write possessive contraction or plural to identify the type of noun in, the, in italics. So remember that italics equals slanted letters. It's easy to forget what those italics mean. So it says the Pony Express's name comes from the mail carriers riding ponies. So here's my word in italics, and now i got to figure out if it's possessive, contraction, or plural. Well, if I make it a contraction, that would be is. So the Pony Express is name. That doesn't make sense. So I know it's not contraction. So possessive or plural. Am I talking about more than one owning something? Or, well, wait a second. Take a look back up here. Plurals. Do plurals have apostrophes? So when it's plural, equals no apostrophe, when it's only plural. Now we can have plural possessives and those get kind of tricky, but right now plural means no apostrophe. Okay, so there is an apostrophe, so then that only leaves possessive. So am I talking about the Pony Express only to owning something? Yes, I am. It's owning the name. So this is possessive. All right, look at number two. The services, there's the word I'm dealing with, the services route stretch between St. Joseph, Missouri and Sacramento, California. The services route, so it's apostrophe, so I know it's not plural. Um, then is it the service is route? No, that doesn't make sense. So then it, so that means it's not a contraction, so it's showing ownership. The service owning that route. So that's also possessive. Take a look at number three. The Pony Express was around in the early 1860s. So there's my italics. Now there's no apostrophe. Oh, is that plural? Is it showing ownership of anything? No. Because it would be here. The thing it was owning would be here. And there's nothing there. So it can't be possessive. And then it's not 1860 is, that wouldn't make any sense, so it's not contraction, so it's just plural. All right, let's look at number four and five. So Senator William H. Russell's, there's my slanted, freighting firm funded the Pony Express. All right, so Russell, Senator William H. Russell is freighting firm funded. That doesn't make sense, so it's not a contraction. There's an apostrophe, so it's not going to be plural. Um, and then that only leaves possessive. So is he owning that freighting firm? He's owning that freighting firm, so that's possessive. Now let's look at number five. It says, Russell's better known than Senator William Gwynn, the man who helped him. All right, so 
I know it's not plural because there's an apostrophe. Now, is it Russell's owning something? Or would it be Russell is better known than Senator? This other guy. That makes more sense. Russell is better known. So that would mean it's a contraction. All right, hopefully that helps you out with exercise number one. Let's take a look at exercise number two. And I'm going to keep my notes handy as I go through this. So let's look at exercise number two. It says, underline the noun in parentheses that best completes each sentence. Okay, so I have to determine, is it supposed to be possessive, plural, or contraction? So number one, speaker phones are already commonplace in some American homes. So am I talking about this, the phone owning something, or am I just trying to make it mean more than one? I think it's meaning just more than one, speaker phones. I'm not, there's no, they're not owning anything. So it's going to be the one for plural, because plural means more than one. So I'm looking at that. All right, uh, the cellular phone's mobility is very convenient. So in this case, we're wanting ownership of the mobility, the cellular phone's mobility. They're owning that mobility. So I don't want the plural version. I want the possessive version. So the many satellites have replaced familiar phone lines. Many satellites. Do I want the ownership or do I want just more than one? I'm just talking about more than one. So I just want the plural version. Number four, satellite communication eliminates many delays. All right, is the delay owning anything? Well, if it was, it would be over here. So that doesn't make any sense because I don't have anything over here. So it's just going to be more than one, just plural. Hopefully that clears you up. If you are wanting just more than one, make sure you do not have an apostrophe in there. All right, guys, good luck.